Hello and welcome to Bronco Babe Adventures. Today's project is, drum roll please, a fuel tank upgrade. I'm super excited, I've been wanting this for a while. Um, Chris surprised me with the full kit for Christmas. So in the honor of procrastination, I'm putting off the timing chain water pump disaster and moving on to a new project. So hopefully this also doesn't turn into a disaster and it gets finished up. Um, it looks like it should be pretty straightforward. I'm afraid to even say that but the kit has everything I'm gonna need, all their gaskets, everything, so I think it should be really fun. So let's jump in. This is always my favorite part of the project. Right before you start, uh, the tear into it, the excitement, fresh possibilities of what could happen, pure naive innocence of how badly things are most likely gonna go. Yay! <laughs> I definitely learned to always just grab an exacto knife and pull it off. Way easier. So due to a complete lack of space for my phone to get set up on a tripod, I didn't videotape taking off these things. But it was actually super simple. Um, just disconnected this hose and then I just unplugged the um, ponytail which I was kind of concerned about how I'd be able to really get up in there and do it, but it just unhooked really easily. <laughs> it's not helping me work here, Moj. <laughs> I just took all the bolts out of the skid plate and I was about to try to work it out um, and I have a fuel leak which I really don't understand. as far as weight when pulling it out. I think it's about a quarter, but it's been quite a while that it's been torn apart and not driving. So this is kind of awesome because now all the fuel is draining out. So everything's coming up glorious. <laughs> Came out so easily like alarmingly easily i'm glad that i was being careful to brace the skid plate taking it off i thought that i was held on by straps i don't know if i got that wrong or if mine is just missing it or they're broke but that came out so nice 
I am so happy. This has been such a fun project so far. So far. So you can see that uh, this was definitely banged in. I'm wondering if that's what caused the leak. Like this is just gas dirt holding in a leak. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if the tank is just shaped that way and not bent because the skid plate's not bent. Unless it's a new skid plate. Unless they messed up the bottom, decided not to do the fuel tank, and that's why there's a leak, and just slapped a new skid plate on, which wouldn't be that big of a surprise based on, you know, it's just kind of how these things go. I love the pile of dirt and gravel that falls out when I take the, the gas tank out. This truck has definitely had some fun. good neighbor uh, so I'm taking off these braces right here so it's just kind of a pain because you have to use a um, just like a normal wrench um, ratcheting wrenches will be the next thing I invest in let me tell you but it's a half inch and uh, just taking these two off and then I'm planning on cleaning it up and spray painting it it's funny how sometimes the big things come out so easy and then the littlest silliest bolts take forever so I think ratcheting wrenches would definitely help next time um, and also it's just the placement was kind of silly on those so okay so now I'm gonna get my grinder and I'm gonna clean all this up and I'm going to paint it with a black rust-oleum so this will be kind of tedious but it'll look so nice when it's done I'm not sure if I really have a plan of where I'm gonna stop which is kind of dangerous I don't know if I want to do my differential or not or, I don't know. I should really choose a stopping point because it's gonna get out of control really fast, I feel like. Okay, so I just got done painting it. I used my grinder and then I brake cleaned it. And then I painted it with a black rust-oleum kind of hard to know where to stop. I was really tempted to just like go crazy on my diff, but um, I didn't. So that was wise, because then where do you stop? So my plan is to kind of just paint the area that I work on as I go. As you can see, I did the Tiffany blue in the front, which I've changed my mind on what color I'm painting the truck. So whoops, but um, yeah, it'll be kind of nice to eventually have the underside painted. I know Rust-Oleum isn't like poor 15, but you know, it's $4 a can and uh, it looks a lot sharper, so. Getting it done. Okay, so I put the rubber piece in first. Um, I kind of had to work the sides in and squish it in there and then this the metal part came off when I took the rubber part off But I just reassembled it and now I'm going to grease the sides and stick it in That's what she said boom All right, I'm about to put the uh, tank and the skid plate back in I'm super excited how this project has been going so smoothly. It has been an absolute joy so it's really nice to have some win under my belt after the series of train wrecks this Bronco, mostly the last month has been. Um, so I'm going to, I put my fuel neck in already and I've got the hoses and everything attached to my fuel tank. So I'm going to hopefully just stick it back in. I also put on the new um, beams up top here. So wish me luck. <laughs> with my hands and feet. I'm gonna use my hands to thread the tubes through while using my feet to uh, slide it up. Not 
really sure what holds that in. I'm gonna put a little bit of electrical tape on this rubber to keep it in place. I don't wanna be messing with it while I'm trying to get it up there. It's hard. Okay, so now I'm to the last one and I went and zipped it up this way instead of just trying to wrestle that last one in and it's so much easier. So even though my uh, ego's kind of hurt from not winning that wrestling match, I'm this is definitely the smarter way to do it. All right, so my skid plate is in. I am just going to uh, ooh, not get my hair caught in the creeper. I'm down a hill, so this has been fun. Um, I'm going to reconnect my fuel lines and the uh, electrical sensor harness, and then I'm done. Okay, so I got the hoses all wrapped up. Um, everything was connected. The electronic part on top was reattached. Um, everything's done. This has been such a fun project. Uh, it feels so good to have something under my belt accomplished. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and like and subscribe. Do it.